So, please listen to this video before you hit the dislike button. So in my opinion, as you can see from the YouTube title, Xbox Games Show today absolutely sucked. It really did suck, guys. And before you hit the dislike button, hear me out. Hear me out first, guys. I'm not trolling. Just hear me out. So, what is good, YouTube? What's you here? If you're new around here, make sure to subscribe to never miss any pop culture-based content at the 100,000 subscriber mark. I will be giving away something so darn cool. So, guys, I will be buying my partner an Xbox Series X anyway, right? So, I'm going to have one in my house anyway. But hear me out. So, Fable, freaking awesome. We've been waiting over 10 years for Fable. Fable 4 looks freaking awesome. But, but what's you? You said it sucked. Yes, it did suck. Now, let me get into that. Why it sucked. So, we got a 50-second teaser trailer of CGI trailer footage for Fable. I mean... They didn't even say when it was coming out. So Fable, the problem with all these games are you can play them all on PC, so you don't really need to buy the console. Now, I know they have the mythos of Game Pass. So Game Pass members, you can play every single game you see today from your subscription or free to play. Now, it's not free to play because you're paying for Game Pass. But what's you, uh, if you have Netflix movies, they're free to watch. No, because, you know, you're paying a subscription service. It's rolling, so they're not actually free. So... Halo, bit disappointed with that, guys. Really disappointed with that. And actually, I was disappointed with the actual quality of the stream because I have a 500 megabyte line, direct line, via an Ethernet cable, and it was lagging still. I mean, I don't know what's happening because we looked at the concurrent views, and it was only 200,000 views. The PlayStation 5 one had over a million light, and it didn't lag once. So I don't know what's going on there. So we have a potential bunch of good games. But there wasn't enough. But what's you? There was 20, 23 games. Okay, guys, there was not 23 games. There kind of was. So they, they had this punchline, console launch exclusive. Well, that basically means it's a timed exclusive, which means Xbox gets it first and then it goes to every other console. And also something I found very weird was they were advertising two video games that were coming out on the like the Xbox One, like the current Xbox, it was supposed to be a next generation show, which to me, it's kind of like, yeah, I get it. When I say Xbox doesn't have games, it's like, you know, bangers. It doesn't have to be a triple A, a banger, but a set for Fable and Hellblade 2, which disappointed me because like people compare Godfall on the PlayStation 5, which I guess is also an ex a console launch exclusive to Hellblade 2, but We've not seen anything. Okay, cool. We're in Iceland. Cool. But we didn't get any new footage. I know there's going to be lots of other conferences and reveals before we actually get to the release of the Series X, the most powerful console in the world. But guys, realistically, except for a few games, graphically, I was not like impressed. Fable looked good, but like I said, it's a CGI trailer. So everyone keeps going on about how powerful it is. It's the most powerful thing you're ever going to touch in the world. Unless you buy a £10,000 PC, then it's not the most powerful in the world. But it is a console. So this is what makes me laugh. I read the comments on the last video, which you guys destroyed. And you're like, yeah, it's better than most PCs. But it's not better than like a really good gaming PC. So the issue I have here is you can literally play all these games on Game Pass. And it's like, what's the point of getting a new console? If you can play it on the Xbox One, but, but but because of the coronavirus, they want people to be able to play every game. No, this is a business model they have. It's a very clever one. They're essentially copying the Netflix model, right? Netflix killed it throughout whatever's happening in the world. Man. They gained 10 million new subscribers during whatever's happening in the world. So they are copying the Netflix model, essentially, like Apple has done and like every... So they're trying to copy the Netflix model. The problem is... The games still lack. Yes, I understand they do have pretty cool games. Like I said, Hellblade 2 looks fantastic. I've just not seen enough of it. And yes, Master Chief with a ray tracing. I know you could see the reflection so cool in his helmet. But they didn't show you enough. We had eight minutes of which a lot of it was CGI cutscenes. And they didn't make it transparent and or apparent which was a cutscene and which was real. So I get it. I, like Some things were impressive. But you guys will probably call me a fanboy, but I'm not, guy. I'm really not a fanboy. The Xbox Game Showcase was disappointing. And as soon as Playground Game Presents came up, we all knew it was Fable. 
but it was a 51 second trailer which literally revealed nothing which tells us it's going to be on Xbox, Series X, and Windows PC. But that's kind of contradictory to what Phil Spencer said. So you said the new Fable game is exclusive to the new Xbox. But uh, hang on. I-, I thought you could play every single game on the Xbox One. So it's not even being elusive or transparent with what they actually mean. Now, don't get me wrong. There are some other games that look cool. Like Crossfire looks pretty darn cool. The Tetris game, Tetris Effect, looks pretty cool as well. But that isn't exclusive either like dark tide look pretty stalker 2 look pretty cool but then again we didn't get to see enough of it so when i say there's no games i'm saying there is no games you're showing us like hellblade 2 looked pretty cool but all we found out is things we already knew that it will be using the unreal engine 5 which we already knew and it's going to be based in iceland but a set for that and yes forza motorsports looked pretty darn cool and it's going to be in 4k 60 fps which is a frame rates you know frame rates per second which most people don't understand and they're telling us that it was running in real time but it looked like a cgi trailer but worse you you, you don't understand anything because you're not guys i, I am educated I, i've studied ha- architect i've studied game programming i've literally made a game at basic level in year one of uni so i understand all this stuff at a high level i just don't talk about that kind of stuff because no one wants to watch a youtube video describing what ssd does and all that kind of good stuff so to me there i mean some games look cool like state of decay 3 looked good halo infinite looked good but we didn't see enough of it there was too much cgi trailers you know we got we were told it's a one hour gaming event and i believe that was very misleading and some cool quirky games like hello neighbor 2 and little quirky games like that but overall i still stand by yesterday's video when i said that they're gonna lose a generation due to these games not being exclusive to the platform but it looks like fable and they're calling it fable not fable 4 though it is technically i guess the fourth fable game maybe maybe we're not really sure because like i said guys it's been 10 years or so since and the internet has gone absolutely ham and game pass is gonna win so many like like, guys seriously i'd prefer to buy a game personally but yeah fable 4 if it's called Fable 4, we'll be on the Xbox Series X and PC. So, you know, we can get it on PC, we can get it on the Xbox. But loads of people like, yeah, sharing their reaction to Fable 4. But they, it wasn't a mic drop moment. It wasn't like, yeah, we've won the general... Because it didn't show us anything. I mean, the fancy world, the fairies, the universe looks so aesthetically pleasing. But it's not all about graphics, guys. As you guys like to tell me, it's not all about graphics. Like, the original Final Fantasy VII is still one of the greatest games ever... And that was never about graphics. It's about the gameplay. It's about the nostalgia, the moment of playing it. But, you know, it's been such a long time. We have Fable the Journey, Fable Heroes, Fable 2 pub games, Fable 3, Fable 2, Fable Anniversary. You know, I'm not just smack talking. There has been a lot of Fable games. But there hasn't been a Fable game, quote me if I'm wrong, since the Xbox 360 over a generation ago. So I really hope... That they are bringing the fire on this game. It does look pretty cool. And it's a bit interesting why they said Windows 10 PC. Rather than just Windows PC. So guys, let me know. Are you going to smash the dislike button? Because the title may come across a bit like fanboyish. But like I said guys, there is a bunch of cool games. But they didn't show me enough. Stalker 2 looked pretty cool. I was really looking forward to seeing Hellblade 2. What is it? After the Hellblade first game was multi-platform. What is this game? What is popping? And it's so cool how you got to see the fairy city and it was like so awesome and lots of people will play fable and fable is love and it looks to me like fable's being rebooted and obviously microsoft will be dropping much more information about all these independent independent games over the next couple of days like playstation did after their conference but i would love to see when it was coming out like fable 2021 but I, i i don't know it's just interesting halo infinite not so much hype for that it just looked a bit too generic for me but like always guys please listen to this video before you smash that dislike button like i said guys my partner she's an xbox head she really wants fable i'm probably gonna have to buy one so i will be using it i will i I really want to play fable but at the same time i do find it very interesting that people like phil spencer come out with this line playstation is locking you to one device if that's the case phil spencer 
bring Fable to the PlayStation 5 because you're locking people into the Xbox. It doesn't matter whether it's an Xbox One or an Xbox Series X, it's still the Xbox franchise. Bring it to the Switch. Bring it to the PS5. Otherwise, you're just contradicting yourself, in my opinion. People have been waiting for this game for 10 years. We covered Fable leak about three four months ago and everwild looks fantastic so guys if you do dislike this video you've clearly not listened to what i've said i was not impressed because they didn't show me enough context and yes i've seen some people's reactions of falling off chair crying laughing when fable came on bitch please seriously I mean, it wasn't it wasn't like falling on my floor and you're getting all these top influencers with a verification tick going fable looks so beautiful so does every next generation game that's supposed to have like 120 fps and the greatest graphics card in the world e even though like both consoles are, are running from our dna2 and, and parts of 1 and 1.5 it's like there's like seems to be this, this pedestal that the graphics look so much better and yes i do give xbox props for running their stream at at 1080 4k 1080, sorry, not 4K, 1080, 60 FPS, which was great. But like I said, guys, I've got a super fast internet connection, direct line, right? Not over Wi-Fi, directly plugged, Ethernet directly from underground where where the fiber is coming from. And it still lagged. I, I don't understand Xbox. I know you watch my videos, please. If you are going to like do another stream, please. I don't know if you can do anything. But Playground Studios... Playground games, yeah, they're behind Fable, so it is pretty cool. I am looking forward to a lot, but I was very disappointed. But Fable does look very beautiful. So, like always, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment. I know I've triggered you with an Xbox game show suck. Here's why, but I've got to get you into the videos, guys. I need you to get to know me as a person. So, like always, guys, please like, subscribe, and let me know. Are you really excited for Fable, Hellblade 2? Them games look cool. Halo, to me, is pretty generic. They're obviously sharing Gears of War 6 for later on down the road. As, it, like, I, I literally said, it's either Fable or Gears of War 6 at the end. But as soon as they said Gears of War 5 and how that's going to run on the Xbox Series X, it was obvious that Fable was going to have to mic during moment. They opened with Halo and closed with Fable. Pretty decent overall, but highly disappointing to me. And I admit, I do, I do prefer the PlayStation franchise. But then again, at the moment, Switch is my favorite machine or console or device so like always guys please like subscribe and comment and i'll catch you in another video very soon catch you later